Thank you. Throughout this show, we've had some of the country's top mind readers, and I mean top mind readers, sat in the audience, and they've been concentrating hard, reading the minds of me, of Liz, and of the boys. Yes. I hope you haven't got any dark secrets, because they're all going to come out. <laughs> Liz, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Now, it's time to see what they've discovered. Will you please welcome Violet, Shirley, Gwen, and Madeline. Ladies. <laughs> now... I know nothing about this. I've been giving these notes in the break, so hang on a minute. Violet, what happened when you first saw me? Don't say you threw up. <laughs> no, I was thinking, that, do you have something to do with Holly? Holly? Yeah, do you have any connection with Holly? <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Holly Grove. Oh. oh. oh that's not bad, is it, eh? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and Thank you think, you. it says it, you think Liz had a connection with the toy shop? Yes, I'm I, getting toys. You're getting toys? Oh, yeah, I once worked in Hamlet's toy shop. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and what's all this about one of the boys and Daleks? No, no, it's not Daleks, it's no. Dar. Something to do with Dar, oh, a wet. God. Mark. What? <laughs> I had, a, I had a little rag called Dar when I was... Oh! Oh, yeah. really? oh it's creepy, yeah, isn't seriously. it? Anything else, Violet? Oh! Yes, yeah, yeah, I was thinking Dar blanket to be carried around with you. You haven't still got it, have you? <laughs> I had it at prep school and the cleaners threw it away because I thought it was a dirty rag. Oh, you're oh, joking. Yeah, you know. Now, Shirley, have you got a message about Maggie's legs? Yes, I can see her shaking. Maggie's legs. Does that ring a bell with anyone? Maggie's legs shaking. Maggie's legs shaking. <laughs> can you tell us any more, Shirley? Um, she had to be saved. She had to be saved? You mean like, hallelujah saved, or...? No, I can see a window. A window? Where are you, Maggie? What? Where are you? How's your leg? <laughs> Does that ring a bell with any of you, lads? Maggie had to be saved. Maggie. Maggie. a dog called Maggie. Maggie? Maggie. She might have dodgy legs, I don't know. But she got... <laughs> <laughs> and what's... Gwen, what's all this about a sock and a toilet? Well, there wasn't a toilet, actually. There was no toilet? No. No, oh, OK. Uh, Gwen, can you tell us any more? Well, uh, one of them uh, was about 14 and it got caught short. <laughs> hey? Sock. 40, 14 and caught short. Sock. 14 a sock in a toilet. Sock in the toilet. Hang on, Marilyn. No. Uh, it says here you've got the fibre again coming through. It's something to do with the fibre again. Um, um, uh, uh, something to do with the no, fabricated in no. no. Come on now, ladies. Come on. If you'd just like to stand there by the desk. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Would you like to reveal who you really are, ladies? Uh, my name's Debbie, I'm Tom's mum. <laughs> oh my god! Violet, oh, Shirley, Gwen, yes. my name's Emma and I'm Harry's mum. <laughs> Gwen? I'm Cubby, I'm Danny's mum. <laughs> Shirley? I'm Sam, I'm Dougie's mum. <laughs> Did you know? Rubbish accent. I, I, I text my mum and said, take Paul O'Grady for me. <laughs> oh, well, no worry. Didn't you, you, Janet? You had no idea? No, no. idea. Did you text back, though? I did, yes. Yes, so. thank you. Yes, all I'm, set. I mean, is all this, this is all fake. You, you, yeah. No. Long brown yeah, hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> how, how, do you, how do you worry about the boys? Can I ask you this? Do you worry about the boys now that they're famous? Or? No, we think they've done so well so far. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah we're just yeah. really proud of them. You must be just, proud of them. Yeah, yeah, really proud of them. Did you think they'd make it? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's no, no two ways. They're really talented boys and just knew that they, they were going to do it and they proved us right, haven't they? Yeah. They, yeah. yeah. Were well, you supportive mothers? Were you like, no, you're your stage mums? No. no. <laughs> oh, Don't you want to give your mothers a hug? Yeah. Yeah. Give them a hug. Go on. So what's false? I'm dying to know. It's like, which, which is, what have you taken off? Oh, it's your nose. Oh, it's your nose. What's, what's fake on yours? It's, it's the nose. Is it? Your nose. Oh, I can tell there, fake. What? What about, is that, that's not your head, is it? No. Is that a fake yeah, nose? Yeah, there's not my nose, yeah, not my hair. Unfortunately, yeah. Is this Vanessa, our makeup artist, did this? Yeah, yeah, God, yeah. she's clever, that girl, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get, like, strange phone calls from fans? All the time. Oh, All do you? Yeah, I got some real bad ones. Really? One was about Danny and uh, Tom they had a, having a crash, remember? Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, they were doing a car uh, crash. Yeah, yeah. they were in a car crash and they were in hospital. You're joking. That was really, really upsetting, yeah. That's not very nice. Very nice. Like. Look what you're putting your arm under the <laughs> No under the woman's on top. Let's listen, girls. <laughs> <Kels. laughs> you've been great sports, you really have. Thanks for giving the lads a big shot. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, that was brilliant. I thought they did well. Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. I'm saying, get over here, kid, do the nothing but. It's just time now for the nodding buster tombola. Here's OC. Let's see. Liz, will you take your name out? Just read I thought you did really well, ladies. Seriously. It's Chris Crickmore from Essex. Okay. <laughs> do you know what you look like? You look like Harley from Polly. Um, honestly, <laughs> didn't you? Sorry, go on. Yeah. Doreen Carton from Northamptonshire. Doreen. Okay. Well, it's time to say goodbye. I feel like Andy Pandy here. Lads, will you go over and get into your positions, yeah, please? Thank you. Oh, Ladies, you see your sons later. Off you go. Okay.